Yo, what is happening, guys? And welcome back to the Let's Talk Fighting Challenge. You can tell by title on the thumbnail. We are a little bit late, but we're around to it now. We will be giving our predictions and our breakdowns for none other than Anthony Joshua versus Francis Nagano, which is actually happening by the time you're seeing this, probably today, because I've left it a little bit late. But we're going to get around to it nonetheless. Now, as you all know, Francis Nagano, UFC former champion. Anthony Joshua, the boxer, are going to fight in a boxing match tonight. I'm going to assume when this is posted tonight. Francis Nagano obviously had his first boxing match against Tyson Fury. Very good performance off that. Then he decided he wanted to call it Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua accepted it. And now we hear there's been a lot of face to like face, -to -face there's been a lot of press conference. There's been a lot of humbleness and, you know, compliments. But at the same time, now it is time to stop the talk and stop the compliments, stop the buddy buddy bullshit, and they get into it. This is a 10 round fight, and I'm going to tell you how I think it's going to go. So, in this situation, I think Anthony Joshua should win. You know, Anthony Joshua is the boxer. Francis Nugano is the UFC fighter who came to boxing. This is only Francis Nugano's second fight. I know he trained boxing when he was younger and obviously throughout the years, but he has not dedicated his life to boxing like Anthony Joshua has. Anthony Joshua should win this fight. But I'm going to explain to you why that might not be the case, and I'm going to give you my prediction at the end. What I think Anthony Joshua has to do to win this fight, I think Anthony Joshua has to be exactly what he is, which is the boxer in this fight. Francis Nagano is not the boxer. AJ is the boxer. Francis Nagano is coming to his sport. You're not going to his sport. So AJ has to be the boxer. He has to use his job. He has to put the combos together. He has to keep the distance. He has to remain control, have the ring control. He can't let Francis Nagano walk him down. He needs to make sure that he puts Francis Nagano at the end of that job. Don't let him get close. Do not go head on. Franz Nugano is going to try and get close. He's going to try and throw those shots, those big heavy shots. He's going to try and turn into a brawl, turn a head on, because Franz Nugano knows when it comes to head on. Anthony Joshua is a very heavy hitter, but so is Franz Nugano, and I cannot see AJ winning that head on battle. And I think AJ knows that that is a risk, because as Franz Nugano said in the face off, one punch can change everything. You don't need to be a boxer. You don't need to be a fighter. You could be anybody. And if you land the clean punch correctly in the perfect place, you can knock someone down. Anything can happen. Anthony Joshua being the boxer needs to understand that. You're lucky enough Francis Nugano can't use his kicks, can't take you down, can't lift you and slam you to the fucking floor. This is your game. It is punching. It is all upper body. This is Anthony Joshua's game. This is what he's been training for. You need to understand, okay, I don't need to worry about all this. He's coming into my game, what I've trained more for. And it is as simple as I'm going to keep him on the job. I'm going to put in the work. I'm going to outbox him. Now, Anthony Joshua, when asked about this, turned around and said that he is not looking for a knockout. He's looking to go 10 rounds. He is more in the mentality of he's willing to go 10 rounds and win on decision than look for a knockout. I think it's good that he's not going for a knockout, and I think that's the mentality AJ has to have. I do think it heavily comes down to what AJ we will get because AJ versus Usyk was not the right AJ. But the past three fights... I believe it's free fights. Anthony Joshua has came out and Anthony Joshua has done what Anthony Joshua should have done, which is be more aggressive, be there to handle business, not be buddy-buddy, not be the nice guy, but be there and say, you're in my way, I'm taking you down. His last fucking fight, he came out there, the guy quit on the fucking stool because Anthony Joshua came out on business and that was it. And he needs to do the same here. He needs to do this because AJ has so much to fucking lose. Let me put this in perspective, right? If Francis Nugano wins this fight, he went the distance with Tyson Fury in his first ever boxing match and arguably won, depending on who you ask, right? But even if he didn't, even if you believe he didn't win, you still agree at a great performance. Then he goes into his second fight against Anthony Joshua and wins. Who are you going to give him next? Wilder, because Wilder already lost. Who's Francis Nagano going to fight next? Maybe he'll get the Tyson Fury rematch. It's only up for Francis Nagano. Even if Nagano loses this fight by a close decision, he still goes up because he's not supposed to be competing with these guys. So no matter what happens, unless fucking Nagano gets knocked clean out in the first round, which I highly doubt, he's going to go up. 
win or loss doesn't matter. He's not chasing these belts. He's chasing the best fights. He said he believes the free best is Tyson Fury, Anthony Joshua, Wilder. He faced Fury. I'm assuming he's going to want that rematch. To get that rematch, if he beats AJ and beats AJ badly, he's getting that rematch. Maybe he wants the Wilder fight. If he beats Wilder badly, he's getting that rematch. That's Francis Nugano's idea is to take those big fights. If Francis Nugano wins this fight, it's all up. But if Anthony Joshua loses this fight, it is all downhill. If Anthony Joshua wins this fight, that kind of sets up the Fury fight because then if Anthony Joshua comes out, outboxes him for 10 rounds, he can say to Fury, you beat him by decision, I beat him by decision, I want this fight. Fury can deny it if he wants to. If Anthony Joshua comes out and stops Francis Nugano, that's putting a statement, a stamp on it and saying, Fury, I'm calling you out. I don't care whether you win or lose against Usyk. I want you. And that is all uphill for Anthony Joshua. But if AJ loses, it is all downhill because we all expect AJ to win. Even people who believe Francis Nugano is going to win this fight, in reality, we should be at Spack and AJ. This shouldn't be a debate. I know Francis Nugano is a good fighter. He was very impressive in his first fight, but this is his second fight, for Christ's sake. We should be sitting here and saying that this is going to be an easy fight for AJ, that the only thing Francis Nugano brings to the table is par and that AJ is going to completely outbox him, but I just don't think that's true. I think this is, AJ already said, this is the toughest fight of his career, and I think it is. I don't think he's facing the greatest boxer of his career, but I think he's facing the toughest opponent because he fought Klitschko, but Klitschko was rightly on and out of his prime. Fair enough, he still beat him. But this is Francis Nugano, who's not here for the world title. He's just here to get in, put on the fight, and you're standing in his way of potentially a rematch of Fury or bigger money fights. Francis Nugano knows he's limited for time, and he's not really focused on him anymore. He's fighting the winner of the PFL Bellator thing. But his main focus is boxing right now, which means he wants to take you out and move on. So he's not here to play fucking games. He's very calm. He's not going to look for the knockout, but he's going to bring it. And one thing AJ fans should be very scared for, because I noticed this because I watched the fight recently, the same shot that Francis Nugano dropped Tyson Fury with is the same type of shot that Andy Ruiz dropped Anthony Joshua with. Now, I know that was years ago, and I know this is a completely different Anthony Joshua, but that does not change the fact that it was still that left hook on the temple, and Francis Nugano knew it worked on Fury, and Fury is a better boxer than Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua is more of a brawler, if you're comparing them. Tyson Fury is more fluent. He's more light on his feet. He's more of a boxer. AJ's going to box you, but he's going to use his power to beat you more than his combinations and his boxing ability. So he's going to be up close. He's going to use his job. But if Francis gets close, he's going to throw that shot. And are we going to see a repeat of when Ruiz dropped AJ? Because I think if AJ gets dropped in this fight, that's when it kind of goes out the window. Because every time AJ has got dropped... I don't believe AJ's ever got dropped and went on to win the fight. And every time AJ's got dropped, you can see his confidence completely drain as soon as that happens. The problem with AJ is, although I like Anthony Joshua, he doesn't have the mentality Fury had. And I think that's the biggest factor in this fight. It is a completely different fight than the Fury fight. Anthony Joshua and Francis Nugano is honestly more of a similar matchup than Fury and Nugano for the simple fact of they both heavily rely on their power and they're both going to go for those heavy shots. Even though AJ is going to focus on being more the boxer, they're both probably at some point going to go head on in this fight. And I don't think Anthony Joshua is going to win that head on unless he hurts Nugano first. If Nugano hurts AJ, and AJ gets a standing count, gets knocked down or anything, I think it's over for AJ because I think his confidence will fully drop because it happens every time. If he drops Francis, his confidence will skyrocket and he can put the pressure on. So I think it's very important for AJ to not play Francis's game. Remember, he's coming to your sport. Make him play your game and your sport and your rules at your pace. Make him do that. You want to take him 10 rounds, take him 10 rounds. Fuck the knockout. Just prove that you can win this fight. Prove you're the better boxer. But is AJ going to do that? Are we going to get the hard-minded AJ that's going to come out there, that's going to put the pressure on, that's going to land those shots, that's going to outbox Nugano and going to refuse the other back? Or are we going to see the AJ that when he gets put under adversity, 
he's going to crumble a little bit because I believe AJ has a very good chance of winning this fight. But I believe Franz Nugano, because of his power and the fact that he was so surprisingly good in his first boxing match against Tyson Fury, although I don't believe Tyson Fury fought very well, still give credit to Nugano. I just think he's going to make it hard for AJ. So I think this is going to be a good fight. I think AJ's got to be the boxer. I think AJ's going for that 10 rounds, outbox him, win on decision, call out Fury. I think France Nugano is going to come in, and France Nugano isn't going to look for the knockout, but France Nugano's ultimate goal is to stop AJ, and that is it. AJ's going to come out, throw the jab, throw the combos. He's going to be the boxer, as I said. Nugano's going to come out. He's going to try and land that same shot that he did in Fury. He's going to try and come out and out-muscle Joshua because he's not going to take a step back. AJ is going to have to keep him on the end of the job, and if France Nugano gets in, AJ is going to have to make sure he moves. Don't stand there. Don't trade with Nugano. Don't do any of that shit. Don't let your ego get to you. Fuck the big shots. You're a heavy hitter, but so is he, and one punch can change everything. Stay in the end of the job. Move. If he gets close to you, clinch him, rotate him, move out. Make sure you're always in the center of the ring, and that is it. Both of these guys are going to go for the center of the ring for completely different reasons. Like I said, AJ is going to try and take the center to be the boxer. And Franz Nugano is going to try and take the center to be the aggressor. And that is it. So I think we're built for a very, very exciting fight. Now, my final prediction. I, as I said, we should be sitting here saying that Anthony Joshua is definitely going to win this fight. And to say Franz Nugano is going to beat Anthony Joshua doesn't sound right. But that's what I think. I think Francis Nugano comes in. I think he gets it done. I don't believe he stops AJ. I believe he hurts AJ. Maybe a couple rounds in, I think it is the case of AJ's maybe winning, outboxing. Then I believe Francis Nugano kind of figures it out. He gets a little bit more aggressive. He gets in close. He turns into more of a brawl dogfight. I think he maybe hurts AJ a bit. AJ has to take a round or two off to try and recover maybe. I think Francis then puts the pressure on through those two rounds and doesn't really let AJ fully recover. And I believe that he... I don't think he finishes AJ, but I believe he wins. I believe he probably wins six rounds to four. Maybe with one of those rounds having a knockdown or a standing count. I be, I can see Francis hurting AJ. I can see him either knocking him down or having AJ having to have a standing count. And I believe Francis gets that extra point and I believe he beats him six rounds to four with one of those knockdowns being. And I think Francis then moves on, gets the rematch of Fury. AJ needs to win this. I think AJ wins this. It, does good for him. I think AJ has to come out and he really has to put his foot on this, but I just have that gut feeling that Franz Nagano is going to come out and do that. As I said, I don't think any of these two finish each other. I think they both do hurt each other, but I just think Franz Nagano hurts AJ that little bit more. And I don't think he lets AJ fully recover when AJ is kind of trying to take the round off and stay back a little bit. We could see a stoppage in this. And if there is a stoppage, I see Franz Nagano stopping him if there is a stoppage, but I believe Francis Nugano probably just wins by decision with knocking AJ down once, maximum twice in this fight, but I believe it's going to be a good fight nonetheless, I can't wait for it, I'm going to be sitting fucking watching it, and we're going to see, but hey, that's my predictions, that's my breakdown, this video is probably ages, but I want y'all to let me know your opinions down below, your breakdown down below, who do you think is going to win, how do you think they're going to win, do you think Francis Nagano is going to win by decision, knockout, do you think AJ is going to win by decision, knockout, what do you think is going to happen, who is your pick to win, do you have bets on it, that is the question, but yeah, give me your whole breakdown, like I said, I want to hear your opinions, I want to see how you think the fight's going to go? Is it going to be more of a brawl? Is it going to be more of a boxing match? Who do you think is going to win? How do you think they're going to win? What do you think is the best strategy for each fighter to put themselves in the best position to win this fight? Let me know that all down below because I'm very interested in seeing other people's opinions. But yeah, that's my prediction. That's my breakdown. I'm going to enjoy the fight. Hope you all enjoy the fight too. As always, think positive. Have an amazing day. Stay safe. I'll see you after the fight. So uh, peace.